Sí, mi amor.
Hello, Marta. Hola, hola. Buenas hola, noches. hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Bien, gracias a Dios. Good. How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Um, excelente. Good. Did you work? ¿Trabajó? Yes. How many hours? ¿Cuántas horas? Um, cinco. Oh, okay. In the morning or in the afternoon? In the morning. Good. What time do you start? ¿A qué hora comienza? Um, a las siete y media. Seven. How do you say siete y media in English? Uh, seven, seven, seven thirty. Very good. Seven thirty. Okay, good. Do you have any questions about the platform, Marta? ¿Tiene preguntas sobre la plataforma? Sí, fíjese de que en varias ocasiones he querido entrar y no he podido. Ok, uh, ¿usted recibió un correo de inglés corporativo? Eh, sí, pues es que el asunto está de que no sé a qué correo fue que me, me anotaron, porque a mí me anotaron. Ajá. Y, y tenía uno, un correo ahí, pues no he podido, no he podido entrar. Ok, vamos a ver, permítame, quiero ver si puedo... Okay, this is okay. Share screen. I do this. Okay. Uh, puede ver mi, mi escritorio. Sí. Vaya. Um, ¿Qué correos tiene usted? Vamos a ver. Dice que estaba el de el de allí del colegio, Clay. Vaya, le, le voy a decir cómo, cómo ingreso yo al mío. Yo lo tengo con Gmail. Está viendo sí. mi pantalla, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, lo estoy viendo. Vaya, entonces yo voy a Gmail. Ajá. Abro mi correo. Sí. Creo que este es uno de los que... Aquí está. Me voy a ir. Y... Abro mi correo. Entonces, para cuando usted ande buscando su, uh, el correo este, ¿cómo se llama? Ya le digo, ya le digo. Ajá. Ok, ¿ves de dónde está la manita ahorita? Sí, sí, te has escrito en inglés, principalmente en uno. Ajá. Ok, entonces este es uno, este es generalmente es el segundo. Ajá. Yo le doy aquí y digo, accede al material del curso ahora. Mm. Le doy. Y ya me aparecen las cuatro secciones. La sí, uno, sí. la dos, la tres y la cuatro. Sí. Si digamos yo le doy a la tres, Ajá. le doy aquí al, donde está el blue link, el, el link azul. Sí. Le doy. Y ahí me va diciendo qué es lo que debo hacer. Oh, Cuando usted okay. haga sus, sus, sus tareas, debe de tener cuidado con los puntos, con las apóstrofes, con todo lo que es relacionado a la puntuación. Porque hay veces de que un punto, el cómo se llama, el, el cómo se llama, la plataforma no se lo va a admitir como correcto. Entonces tiene que tener cuidado con los puntos, Ajá. con los signos de interrogación, signos de, de exclamación, um, apóstrofes, uh, letras Ajá. mayúsculas y todo eso. Entonces, sí, sí. Sí. su primer misión es encontrar a qué correo sí, le llegó el link. Sí. ¿Me explico? Entonces, Ajá. una vez usted empiece a hacer los ejercicios, siéntase en libertad de preguntarme, dígame, mire, el ejercicio tal de tal sección no me no me no me sale bueno pues no no me no me no me lo reconoce Ajá. y pues ahí yo voy a ver para para comparar 
¿Qué es lo que está, dónde está la observación, correcto? Ok, entonces ahí voy a observar, sí, este, a lo mejor este, puede ser que me hayan puesto un correo que yo no tengo ni la contraseña. Ajá, cabal, Ajá. cabal. Ajá, ser. Sí, eso se da, eh, uh -huh. pero esa, esa, ese link, ¿se acuerda cómo accedió usted al, 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 al chat de WhatsApp? Sí, usted te... sí. Sí, eso sí, yo ya lo vi este en el, en el correo del, en del que es del colegio y este y ya, ya busqué allí los links y pues este vaya, es lo que iba a hacer. Vaya, este entonces curso. en ese mismo correo donde le dan el, 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 ¿cómo se llama? El link para WhatsApp, ahí le aparece también el link para Ay. este que le acabo de enseñar donde... Ajá, sí. Y entonces eh, lo mucho que va a tener que hacer es darle clic como a los cuatro que aparecen ahí. Sí, y sí. uno de ellos le va a abrir. Ok. Ahí vamos a observar eso más tardecito. Ya, yeah. yeah. uh -huh. good. Sí, Así gracias, que, gracias. Eh, en especial, mañana en la mañana estoy, estoy libre. Puedo ah, estar, sí. ¿cómo se llama? Apoyándole si usted necesita, necesita algo. Porque en la tarde voy a dar una tutoría que es toda la tarde. Y pues no me uh -huh. voy a poder conectar a ninguna máquina ni nada. Vaya, entonces voy a revisar yo más tarde y este y en la noche este bueno voy a tratar la manera de rebuscarme con ese correo del que ya, ya pues ya, ya se me dijo y pues este el día de mañana pues si le puede hacer alguna consulta en la mañana lo voy a hacer. Exactly. Very good. Okay, no problem. Rose. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Rose? Hi, thank you. Good, very good. Did you have a nice day? Yes, I feel so tired, but... Uh-huh. Oh, okay. It's okay. Yeah, someone, someone has to do it. <laughs> yeah. And you, how, are, how was your day? Uh, it was kind of... In the morning, it was... Um, you know, I was teaching a class from 10 a.m. to 12 noon and then I had a meeting at 4.30 p.m. Okay. So um, what do you call it? Um, the meeting was like one hour, about one hour, and then I came back to the house. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ricardo. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good, good. How are you? What's new? Me too, I'm tired. <laughs> tired. Yeah. Tired. Yeah. yeah. I, I will wear it the Friday. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah. Um, you know, like I I work on on what do you call it? Um on Saturdays. I teach Saturday mornings. So my Friday is, is a normal day. Saturday is my short day because I finish at noon. So you had a you had busy every day, did you? Kind you of. Busy every day. Yeah, because in the place where I'm where I work, we are in the process of recruiting uh, people that have fifty five percent of the language for a new project. Good teacher. So I'm interviewing what, people every day. It's a it's a project um, from Monday to Friday, and each each class is four hours, from wow. eight to twelve, or from one to five p.m. So I'm I mean I'm speaking with people every day. It's too long, teacher. <laughs> huh? It's too long this day. Then. Four hours. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's, it, the, the course is for people that are not working at this moment. Like a teacher? Uh, no, um, the person that, um, that is applying, he or she has 55% of the language. It can be anybody, students, professionals, uh, informal business, anybody that has the 55%. That's good, teacher. Yeah. So. You feel, you feel bored in, 
In your job? I mean, no. Never. 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 Okay. No. <laughs> yeah. I never feel bored. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I actually, I need more hours to finish my, my tasks. <laughs> yeah, because when I arrive, I start doing one thing, then I change to something else, and then they come with a, with a case, with a scenario, and so that's my job. You, sp you speak Spanglish? No, I, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I speak Spanglish. I speak English to some people, and um, with others I speak Spanish. Okay. Yeah. But uh, I was making a joke, uh -huh. and I say, and I say, um, I forget for for a moment. I forget Spanish. I only want to speak in English. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. 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 And in some cases, I speak Spanglish. You know, if the other person. <laughs> has a, a good knowledge of the two languages, we make combination. Okay, okay. Yeah, so that's, that's what I do. I interact with people uh, very much, mm -hmm. very okay. much. I like working with people. Yes. Yeah. Anyway. You, are very, you are very patient. Yeah, I'm patient, I'm patient. Patient, yeah. yeah. So um, that's you what I have do. a lot of patience. Yeah, I try to. Sometimes I lose patience. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I, I can't, uh, no podría ser. I, I can't, couldn't be. I couldn't be a teacher. No. Okay, you're not patient? No. <laughs> Sometimes I want to kill people. <laughs> they don't understand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ricardo, you're a teacher, right? Uh, yes, but I'm a social teacher. Uh, uh, social teacher, studies. Socialist. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. A teacher is a teacher, you know, English, yeah. math, science. Yeah. Yeah. So teaching people is something that makes you feel um, well, you know? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, so what's today's date? Today's okay. uh, February Thursday. 18th. Okay, today is Thursday. How do you spell Thursday? Thursday? T -h -u -r -s -e -a -y. T -h -u -r -s -e -a y. T H U R S. T H U R S. D A Y Thursday. So, can you write Thursday on the chat, um, Ricardo? Okay, teacher. Thursday. Thursday. Good. Um, what does Ricardo need to change in that word? Capital letter. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry. Ah. Sorry. We're going to pull your ears, Ricardo. <laughs> Forget it. Okay. So, so what is next? Is it the month or the date? Date. Date. Mm. Yes, it can be the date. Yeah. So you can say 18th of February. Mm -hmm. That's the British version, 18th of February. So the same way we say dates in Spanish, 23 de marzo, primero de mayo, 5 de diciembre, we use mm -hmm. the same equivalency with, uh, mm -hmm. with the British version. But mm -hmm. if you want to say it in the American version, yes, Ricardo? Teacher, what, what uh, do we use the cardinal numbers? when we refer the dates. Okay, in English, every day is ordinal. Every day. Ordinal, okay. Yeah, every day, the whole 365 days a year, uh, we're using ordinal numbers. It's 18, it's 18. 18th. 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 Yeah, 18th. 18th. Uh-huh. No, 18th. Okay, what would be the American version for the date? Mm -hmm. 
I don't know, teacher. <laughs> right there. Uh -huh. Like like Friday the 13th. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So the first option is British, 18th of February. Okay. February 18th is the American version. So the two options are accepted. What is the year, Marta? Do you remember the year, Marta? Que año estamos, Marta? What is the year? 2021. Uh-huh, in English? How do you say 2021 in English? 2000? 21. 2000, 2021. 2021. 20, is a, another good option. Yes, very good, Marta. All right. What time is it now? 18 past 8, teacher. 18 past 8. Another form to say 18 past 8? 8, 18. No. 8, 18. 818 mm -hmm. or after. or 18, 18 after, after eight. 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 yeah so you can say after or you can say past what is the condition to use after or past the hours is in the first uh, middle Oh, in the half first hour. half hour. Excellent. In the first half hour. Excellent. So the time or the hour has to be in the first half in hour. The first half hour. Okay. Now, what happens when the time is the second half hour? We use before. Good. Or two. two. Excellent. Yeah. Before or two. Or two. Exactly. Very good. All right. Um, do you guys remember the topics we covered yesterday? Yes, teacher. What topics did we cover? Uh, we studied about the there is and there are. Good. What is the function of there is and there are? Let me see it. Uh, when we talk about something existed. Yes. We use there is, there are when we talk about the existence of something. How do you say I seis millones de salvadoreños? There are six millions. Salvadorians. Salvadorians. Yeah. You can, you can say of. No, you don't need to. There are six million Salvadorians. Mm, okay. Yeah, there are six million South. How do you say hay 24 horas en el día? There are 24 hours. There, there is 24 hours in the day. There, there are. There are. There mm -hmm. are 24 hours. There in are the day. 24 hours. Yeah, it's plural. Okay. Yeah. How do you say hay 60 segundos en un minuto? There are 60 there are seconds in one minute. Seconds in one minute. Good. There are 60 seconds in one in minute. One minute. How do you say, hay 12 meses en el año? There are two months are of the year. Two months. There are 12 months in, in the month year. In a year. Uh -huh. How do you say, hay 366 días en un año bisiesto? Bisiesto, oh my God. There are, <laughs> you say there are, there are, there are, 366 years in a leap year. Excellent. In a leap year. Very leap good. Year. <laughs> leap, leap, good, leap, Rose. Leap year. Yes, leap year. So leap year. Leap. How can leap. you ex how can you explain the word leap year? How can you explain it? <sighs> leap is and the and the how do you say in las carreras de carros? No. No, those are laps. Lap. Yes, those uh -huh. are laps. Yes, yes. No, I don't. How I don't. do you say? Well, a leap year is a year with, well, with 366 time. days or with an extra day. 
Okay, good. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Okay, any questions about yesterday? Any comments? People, people, oh. people. Okay, so let me open my book. How do you practice your speaking when you are not in class? Do you have somebody to practice your speaking with? No. Maybe when I listen Hello. to music teacher. <laughs> uh, Ricardo, you were saying? When I listen to music teacher, I but try to you sing. Practice your listening. <laughs> but I try, I try to sing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> me so you're too, practicing me your pronunciation. <laughs> Yes. Me too. <laughs> okay. Now, how do you practice your listening? Watching TV. Watching TV is a good option. Um, what listen, else? Listening music. Okay. What is your favorite music or your favorite band? In my case, uh, I like to electronic music teacher. Oh, you know? <laughs> okay. I used to like electronic music, uh, like the old versions, like 15, 20 years ago. But the, the one they, they play now is a little bit different. Yes. Okay. So let's see this here. All right, so let's talk about this information. How do you say arroba in English? At. At. Guión bajo? <laughs> Guión bajo. <laughs> Under. Underline. Let's Under. Go. Underscore. Very good. Underscore. Okay. Underscore. Yes. Underscore. How do you say guión normal? <laughs> or guión? Uh, um, I don't know. <laughs> remember yeah. dash? Yes, yes. Do you remember dash hyphen? Hyphen, yes. Uh huh. Is and the minus sign? And the minus sign. What do you mean? I don't the know. Head? This is a minus sign. Uh, menos, el signo de menos. Oh, minus. El signo de menos. Yes. Yeah, minus. Yeah, it's it's. it's Okay, so we have at, we have underscore, we English. have dash. How do you say pleca in English? Back, backslash, backslash. Okay, si está en sentido opuesto, si dice backslash. Ah, it's a slash. 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 Exactly, yes. exactly. Yes. All right, so... What is the person's name, the exercise? Mauricio Quintanilla. Okay, what is his telephone number? 7203-9164. Exactly. 7203-9164. Okay, what is his workplace? Arrows Technology Company. Okay, what's the meaning of arrows? Stretcher. Flecha, sorry. Flecha. Yeah, flecha. 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 Yeah, flecha. Now listen to this. When you write addresses in the United States, what is the first thing that you mention? Street. Yeah. Okay, don't, don't pay attention to this address because that is a Salvadorian address. Yes. Okay, so if we're talking about um, an address in the United States, how would it be? City teacher. Mm, the city is usually at the end. So let, let me put it in the chat. When I was in California, this was my address. I 
I don't remember the zip code. I will write. Uh, the zip code is the last. Is the last part right? The the what the zip code? Yes, uh -huh. yes. And okay. The bird, uh -huh. This was okay. my original. <clears throat> I'm sorry. This was my original address in the U.S. Twenty-two, twenty-two, forty-six Avenue, 46 Avenue. San, Francisco. San Francisco, California, and then the zip code. What is twenty-two, twenty-two? The number of the building or the house? The number of the house. Yes, the number of the building. Okay, forty-six Avenue, San Francisco, California. 94115. I don't remember the zip code, but I'm using this one as reference. 94115. Maybe it was it was different. But this is the order that you need to do when you are writing or when you're sending a package to the United States. The uh, name teacher, and, what, yep. and what about this one? Yes, that is that is that is good. But 11200 is the number and northwest is the sun or yeah no uh 107th street must be a long street so the street is so long that they divide it like north south east and west so nw stands for northwest uh -huh. so and this is a, a an apartment building because you have number 13. Oh. So 13 is the number of the of the apartment. Okay, okay. Miami, Florida, and then the zip code. Uh-huh. So what I'm saying is the following. 2222 or 11,200 is the name of the house or the name of the building. The number of the house or the number of the building. Then in my case, 46th Avenue was maybe two kilometers. So it wasn't that long. So 46th Avenue. In the case of Lewis address, 107th Street must be long. Why must be long? Because they divided in sections. Do you know 25 Avenida in San Salvador? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. 25 <laughs> Avenida, what near Mercado Cuscatlán? Is it north or south? South. It's south. It's south. If you go near Hospital Bloom, is that north or south? North. It's north. north. It's north because 25th <laughs> Avenue is very long. long. So they have to separate it. They have mm -hmm. to divide it. Right mm -hmm. now, 2222 46th Avenue was a house. In the case of Lewis address, it's a building because it indicates uh, apartment 13. Right? Then the city, San Francisco or Miami, then the state, California or Florida, and then the zip code 94115. Or thirty-three one seventy-eight. Uh teacher, here in El Salvador we don't have zip code because we're too tiny, right? Uh, there is a zip code. A, a, all the places have a zip code, but nobody uses because of what you're saying. The country is so small that we don't go by zip codes. Because when they ask me the zip code, El Salvador, I put five zeros and that's it. Right. Right. But yeah, if you check like with Antel, Correos or something, everybody has a zip code in El Salvador, but nobody uses it. What is the function of zip code? Uh, to locate uh, the mail better. Now imagine 46th Avenue in the United States. There must be a 46th Avenue repeated so many times, so many times. So the zip code, they use it to, to have a better location of where to distribute the mail. Mm -hmm. Any questions? No? Okay, so let me close this here.
All right, what is his position? Software designer. Software designer. Which department does he work for? Production. Production. And what is his ID? MQ. Uh huh. One zero eight three five nine. Good. Good. Any questions about this uh, employee's information? Would you include something additional to his information? Maybe who is the boss? Okay, yeah, the immediate boss. Uh -huh. What about the email? Do you think the email is important? Yes, in these days, yeah. it's important. Yeah. yeah, imagine that you work in a huge company. Maybe your email will be important. All right, any questions? No? Okay, so we go here. Okay, before we continue, I want to know if uh, I have people here with questions about the platform. Not teacher. No? Okay. All right, so prepositions of place. Where's the park located? Oh, no! It is located among many places. Okay, what is the meaning of among? Among is like uh, cercano a nosotros. Mm. Well, among, now imagine that you're working with a group of children. And you tell them Entre. the future of uh, the the future president is among ah, alrededor. you. Alrededor. Entre. Entre. Okay. Entre. But entre is very different than like between. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's different. It's different. So you're talking with a group of children, and you tell them the future president of the country is among you guys. Is among. Está entre ustedes. It's very general. When we talk about the future, teacher. What is it? When we talk about the future, we can use them all. Sure. You. I mean, if it's only an example. You can. You uh, can. Uh, for example, you say, "Hey, have you seen my Dewey? I don't remember seeing your Dewey, but check among those papers. You know, okay. like very general, very general. Okay. Now the second question: Where is the Sport Palace located? Mm hmm. It's located on Barrios Street in front of the park. Good. Then we say, where is this mall located? The lo it's located where? Near the, Near the restaurant. Right. And where is the church? It's located past, past the school. school. Okay, good. So these prepositions are very, very important, very useful when you're talking about locations of place. When you catch a taxi, what is the first thing you tell the taxi driver? Take me to and the direction. Exactly, take me to and then you mention your destiny. And they say, take me to San Jacinto. What do you think is gonna be the, the driver's question? Where is it? <laughs> uh, do you have a reference? Okay, yeah, what part of San Jacinto? Because San Jacinto is big. So you say, what part of San Jacinto? And they would ask you for, and you say, what part of San Jacinto? And that's when Salvadorians, they use their reference points. Mango, al terminar la subida, whatever. And if it's a good uh, experienced taxi driver, he said, oh, I know, $5, you know. What do you call that action when you negotiate prices? Um. That is one characteristic about Salvadorians. Let me put it in the chat. They say, how much for, how much from here to Metro Centro? He says, $7, $7 is too much. I give you five. And he says, not you, not me, give me six. 
Bargain. 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 Bargain is a synonym of negotiate. So Salvadorians, we always, we usually bargain. We usually bargain. Anything else? Okay. How do you say cuesta in English? Al final de la cuesta. Al bajar la cuesta. At the end of the hill? Yes. Hill. Hill means cerro. But it's also the same word that you use to say cuesta. Okay. So we got this here. Any questions about uh, the prepositions? So I need a volunteer to read the instructions in part five. Okay, good evening teacher. Hey, good evening. Yes. How are you, yes. Osman? I am fine. Good, good to have you back. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, say. The instructions in part five. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Complete the conversation using a Preposition from the box. Go to P39 and map. And look at the map. Thank you. Okay. okay. Another volunteer to read the options that we have in part five. Along. Along, in front of, behind, next to, between, across, past, and under. Excellent, thank you. What is the meaning of along? A lo largo de, teacher. Yes, a lo largo de. Uh -huh. In front of? Enfrente. Enfrente de. Enfrente. Behind? Detrás de. Atrás. Next to? A la par. Par. Between? Entre. Across? Atrás. Across? A través o a frente. A través. A través. Al cruzar. Al cruzar. Al cruzar. So you say the hospital is across the park. Across the street. Cruzate el parque. Past. Pasar. Pasando. Ya pasado. 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 So you say the park is two blocks past the bank. Paso Two blocks bank. past the bank. Two blocks Paso after the bank. Paso bank. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. under, what is under? Debajo. Debajo. Yeah. Okay. Any questions there? Okay. Questions, questions? Now, it says you're supposed to use this with the map on page 39. How do you say regresar in English? Come back. No. Come back or return. Oh. Return. Okay. So here's the map. So you have to open your books. So you have to go to page 39 where this map is. And you have to use the vocabulary that we're studying at this moment. This vocabulary. So are the instructions clear? So I will assign you to work in pairs. Y así en parejas, hacen los cuatro, you do the four um, exercises. See this here? Create rooms. Uh -huh. And here we go. Go, go, go.
Hey, teacher. Yes, sir. I had a difficult. I, I don't hear her very well. Vilma, can you hear me? Velma, Velma. Yes. How are you, Vilma? Good. Bye. Good. Are you in your house? Yes. Did you work today? Yes. What time did you finish? Uh, 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Do you yes. work Saturdays? Yes, at uh, 12 p.m. Oh, you finish at 12? Yes. Good, good. Do you have any questions about the platform, uh, Vilma? Uh, yes. Um, solamente quería saber si ya puede ver las actividades que yo realizo en la plataforma. Ok, uh, déjeme, quiero ver, a las 10 de la noche puedo revisar si ya están las, uh, para ver por dónde va usted. Ok, sí, porque la vez pasada, este, parece que no le aparecían usted ahí que había hecho las actividades. Ok. Y ya las había realizado. Ok, ya, yeah, a las 10 de la noche voy a revisar y, y yo le doy una respuesta mañana. Okay. Y si tiene alguna pregunta relacionada con X ejercicio de X unidad, eh, mañana en la mañana estoy libre y, y puedo, puedo ver en, en qué, en, de qué manera puedo ayudarle. Ok, thank you. Ok. So, Luis, can you hear Vilma? Yes, right now I can, I can. Ok, so practice the conversation. But, uh, Vilma... Yeah. Do, do, do you have the book? Yes. Or the part. Teacher, I have yes, a question, sir. teacher. Ask me. We, uh, we okay. can use for the number three alone or maybe pass. The restaurant, okay, the is, restaurant alone first. is Yeah. Now, the thing is that we use along. Okay, you're driving your car. You're going from yes. San Salvador to San Miguel. So yeah. when you're driving, you see trees along the street. So along is uh, sometimes you can say and the and the end teacher a, a repetitive thing. A lo largo de so ustedes uh -huh. eh, cuando voy a Pulo veo vendedores informales a lo largo de la carretera. So you see one, oh. another, and blah blah blah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And when we just pass. Is when, when somebody uh, pass, uh, pass when, uh, on the street or something like that. <laughs> uh, for example, you can say Super Selectos Miral Valle is past Dollar City. Oh. It's, it's a synonym of saying after. After, okay. Uh, yeah. But, uh, but in this case, teacher, we can use um, along in the number three. Or maybe pass. Yeah, the restaurant is along First Avenue. Yeah, you can say it. Okay, thank you. Dear. Okay, good, very good. Uh -huh, the church, the church, and the city hall. City hall. Church and uh, the city hall are and uh, front the front. Sí, está enfrente. Así lo veo yo. Sí, está enfrente.
chat. Vamos a ponerle two more minutes. Two more minutes. All right. Any questions about the exercise? So in a real life situation, the same way people ask you for directions uh, in Spanish, the same thing happens in English. So you have to have the skill to use prepositions accurately. Any questions or comments? What is the answer for number one? Uh, the sport palace is next to the bank. Okay. All right. What is number two? The city hall is between the church and Bookworth. Okay, good. What is number three? The restaurant is along First Avenue, teacher. Okay, it's along First Avenue. And what is number four? The church and the street hall are interrupt the park. Are? Are in front of the park. Are in front of the park. Very good. What's the, the meaning of, yeah. 
what was the answer of number three? The restaurant is? The restaurant is, what was the answer, uh, Rick? Along. I use along. Along. Yes. You, you can, or we can use uh, fast. fast. Okay, restaurant is, let me see. I use fast. Because, because the restaurant is like in the finish line of the... Okay, of let me see the map. 36. Uh -huh. Okay, the restaurant is right like here. A, a, at the end, I think. Okay. The pass, it, okay, the, so the restaurant is what? Past First Avenue, so you have to... Uh-huh, I put pass. You have to travel all the First Avenue to get to the restaurant at the end. I yeah, think. You, could, you could say... Past First Avenue, uh, along First Avenue, on First across, Avenue. Across, no. Well, not exactly. It's across from the mall or across from the Arrows Company. Oh, okay. Yeah. So across, you use across when you are comparing one side and okay. on the other side, there is yeah. something else. Okay. Right. But you can use past if that's the end of the First Avenue. Yeah, you can say past First Avenue. Past okay. the end of First Avenue. Yes. How do you say Calle Sin Salida? Dead end. Dead end. Good. Let me write it there for you. Dead end. Dead. Dead end. Dead end. Calle Sin Salida. How do you say Tumulo? Remember that in El Salvador, when you're giving directions, you always use reference points. So you say street bump. Street bump. Street bump is tumulo. Yeah. Yeah, street bump. All right. Any questions about the exercise? And let's see the, the next exercise. What number were we doing? This one here. Okay. What's the meaning of city hall? Uh, Alcaldía. 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 <laughs> Alcaldía. Yes. What is the biggest city hall in El Salvador? Mm. Huh? I don't know. San Salvador. Yeah, San Salvador. San Salvador Avenue. Yeah, San Salvador. Where is San Salvador City Hall? It's on the Alameda. No, it's on the. It's over. Oh no, it's on. It's on. On. Juan Pablo II. John Paul Second. <laughs> yeah, it's on John Paul Second. Yeah, but remember that uh, when you're talking about proper names, you don't translate the the name of the street or the avenue. So you said it's on Juan Pablo Avenida. Okay. Juan Pablo Segundo Avenue. Yeah, Juan Pablo Segundo Avenue. Right. Yep. Okay. Any questions or comments? Do you use a badge in your company? Yes. You do? Oh, really, teacher. Yes. Okay. Does the badge have a picture of you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I use a badge too. You know, it's uh, the picture, the name, the department where you belong and things like that. All right, so let's do the uh, exercise six. Uh, once again, you're gonna be working in pairs. You will interview your, um, your partner. What is your name? Where do you work? What is the main phone? Maybe you don't know the main phone, so you give your cellular. Um, your workplace, your job position, department, the address, and the ID number. Any questions here? 
The item number is the DUI. Uh, not no. necessarily. Uh, w uh, that's why I was ah, asking you a, for the batch. Yeah, we had a number. Okay. Employee, employee number, yes. Okay. So the office main phone, workplace, job position, department, address, and ID. Address, my address. Uh, the address of the of your work. Ah, okay. The office. Yeah, the, the address okay. of your office. So if okay. you don't know the address exactly, just use your imagination. Okay. All right, let me recreate. Recreate. Da -da -da. And let's do this. Only half, so la mitad. Mm -hmm. A ver. ¿Y el libro lo tiene este ahí? El otro? Sí, este, pero ¿verdad que ese cuadrito es el que vamos a llenar con los datos? Sí, este, gente. Yes, exactly. Part 6. Ok. okay. ¿Pueden ver el Part 6 ahorita? Uh, no. Ok, vamos a ver. Uh... Share screen. Lo veo ahorita. Can you see it now? No. Yeah. Osmin, can no you see it? Yes, I see. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. I, ahí está. Ahí le puede tomar una foto con su teléfono o le agarra un screenshot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Son datos personales. Yeah. Yeah, personal questions.
Workplace. Work de empresa. Uh -huh. Lugar de trabajo. Film. Ya el otro sí es la posición, el yo y vos. Ajá. Sí. Pues. ¿Y qué sí. es? Per... Sí. Let me see, wait a moment. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. It's, it's yeah. too long. In, yeah. in my case, we don't have idea. Ah, oh, you don't have. Yes, yes. we have. We have a, a carnet and a, a bus to open the doors. <laughs> yes, I know. Maybe because uh, your company is, is very big, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, there are a lot of, of, of doors. There are a lot of people. So your ID has something like a barcode? No. Um, no. No? No. <laughs> But it yeah. has, how do you say yeah. Iman in English? Um, um, mag magnetic. Magnet. 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 Wow. Okay, so you have your badge, your picture, but that yeah. that badge can open doors. Uh, the, yes. This one opened the door. Okay. And this is the, the carnet. Yeah, the ID. The ID. Okay. How, how do you say the one that opened the door? Car access. Yeah, uh, 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 a door access. Door access. Door access. Door access. Uh, so we were talking about the direction of the office, and it's in Colonia Roma. How do you say Colonia Roma in English? So um, Colonia. How do you say okay. that? Okay. You say neighborhood. Colonia, barrio, residencial, reparto. So it's Roma neighborhood. Yeah, it's Roma neighborhood. Okay, okay. Yeah. But yeah, remember. In yeah, in yes. In this case, Rose. We, we use neighbor, neighborhood. No, no, Roma. no. No. Colonia uh, Roma? No. You, like if someone is sending you a letter or a package, it says Roselena Salgado, uh, Colonia Roma, Edificio 10, whatever. So it has to be in Spanish. Okay. It has to be in Spanish. Yeah. Colonia Roma, Barrio El Calvario, Reparto Las Flores, Residencial, whatever. Uh, it okay. stays in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Because the address of the, of the workplace of Ricardo is Barrio, Barrio Centro. Centro. Yeah. Number yeah. 14, San Salvador. Yeah. Barrio El Centro. It stays in Spanish. In, like in Spanish. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Do okay. you remember receiving correspondence, like physical correspondence in the past? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember uh, receiving correspondence back in the 80s, 83, 84, the 90s. You know, it, it was exciting to receive uh, correspondence. On Christmas. On, on Christmas. Yeah, on Christmas, people used to send you Christmas cards. Yeah, and it was part of the Christmas tree decoration. Yes. Yeah. Now everything has changed and everything is uh, uh, digital. Yes. All right. It's like the slogan, are you old but in that way? Uh-huh, yeah, like, are you old but that old? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that old teacher. Yeah. Well, I was born in 1971, so you know. I was born. I was born in 1970. 1970. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to be 50 this year. Oh no, I I I was 50, 50. last year. Last year. Okay, so yes. you're like two years or one year older than I. Yes. Luis, no, when were you no. born? Where or when? When, when? 1983. 83. And you, Rick? 1985. 85. <laughs> so Rick is the baby yes. of the group. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, good. Let's go back to the main session.
the eighties generation. Yeah, the, the 70s. They, they belong to the 80s. We belong to the 70s, Rose. <laughs> All right. Any questions or comments before I take attendance? Yes. So when you say Colonia Roma, it's in Spanish, not Roma neighborhood, right? No, no. Imagine that you have a friend from Canada. He doesn't speak Spanish and, and you take him on a tour or you go for him at the airport. He said, well, our office is located in Roma neighborhood, so you can translate it. But when you're giving the address for somebody to send you something, it has to be in Spanish. Ah, OK, because imagine um, you write the address in English. Uh, El cartel is going to be like, OK, Roma neighborhood. What is that? You know, mm -hmm. like, so it, that's why it has to be in Spanish. Okay, okay. But when, when we are talking with a Canadian guy or or, a, or someone that doesn't speak Spanish, you can say Roma neighborhood. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Yeah. I was born in Barrio El Calvario. Do you know Barrio El Calvario? No. Barrio El Calvario is um, Mercado Central. Um, oh. Cementerio Los Ilustres, ah, okay. Les El Perfecto exactly. Socorro, all that is Barrio El Calvario. Ah, okay. All right. Any questions about addresses or locations? No. So when I call your name, please activate your camera. So I know that all these people are absent. So I'm going to save a little bit of saliva. Luis. Present. Okay. Uh -huh. She's absent. She's absent. Marta Alicia Monge. Present. Thank you. Absent. Osmin Baides. Uh, pres present teacher. Present. Very good. Uh, Rick Hernandez. Present teacher. Good. Rosalena Salgado. Present. Good. Okay, she's absent. She's absent. <laughs> Vilma Sorto. Present. Thank you. And Janet Morales. Present. Thank you very much. Welcome back, Janet. Oh, no, she was here yesterday. Yes. Thanks. All right. Anyways, any questions about uh, the exercise, about the name, the office, the workplace? No? Okay. So here we go again, and we're in unit four, exercise one. Can somebody please read um, the instructions in, 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 in that exercise? Anybody? Okay, teacher, uh, write sentences about the places around your workplace use the position of place to describe their location. Excellent. Excellent. Let me give you an example. ¿Saben dónde está la dirección de inglés corporativo? Do you know the address? No. Okay. Es, está en la 91, 92, calle something, or avenida something. So, Okay. What is a reference point? In my case, a reference point is Torre yeah. Futura. Torre Futura is like three or four blocks from Inglés Corporativo. So I can say, write sentences about the places around your workplace. So Inglés Corporativo is between Torre Futura and Redondel Luceiro. So it says, use prepositions of play to describe their location. So, Inglés Corporativo is past Torre Futura. Or I can say Inglés Corporativo is before Redondel Luceiro. 
How do you say redondel in English? Redondel? Osmin? No, 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 no. Okay, run about. Okay. Run about. So I say, Inglés Corporativo is before the Lucero runabout. Uh, okay. Uh, so what is uh, What is it? Uh, redondel. Runabout. Runabout. Ahí está en el chat. Runabout. Okay, gracias. What is another form to say ran about? And how do you say paso de nivel? Uh, overpass. Okay. Overpass. Overpass. Yep. Can you mention popular overpasses in San Salvador? Um, the one that Pass um, Mas Ferrer runabout. Um, the street that is under the run the Mas Ferrer right. Runabout. There is a tunnel. Yeah, there is a tunnel. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah. Herman, and the, and Herman the Constitution. Alejandro. Yeah. Constitution. Where on Constitution? Mm. Oh, Constitution and no. Alameda, Juan Pablo, I think. No. When, or what are you talking about? Uh, we are talking about the overpass, no? Right, right. Paso de nivel. Yeah, so which paso de nivel is there in... The Moscow? Constitution. But Constitution and what? And when they run about La Chulona. Oh, Constitution and San Antonio Abad. Yes. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so do you understand? Hermano Lejano is a, it's an overpass, yes. Also, the Naciones Unidas is an overpass. Also, the new street that comes from the airport, Puma Runabout, I think it's the oh, name. Oh, no. yeah, the Jaguar. Jaguar, Jaguar, yeah, Jaguar. <laughs> yeah. Well, there is a Puma gas station here, so it's valid. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about fair lines. You know? Yes, yeah, fair line, yeah. The, 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 the Jaguar, the Puma. What kind of fair lines? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like big cats. I like uh, fair lines, big fair lines. Okay, so what you need to do, tiene que hablar de lugares eh, cerca donde usted vive. Use behind, next to, after, and so on. Are you ready? So tiene que escribir cinco oraciones de lugares cercanos a su... My workplace or my... Or yeah. my well, it my... can be your workplace or it can be your house or you can make oh, okay. a combination if you want. Okay. Yeah. Give me a second. And how do you start the sentence? My workplace is past um, Lucero Runabout. With teacher? Teacher. <laughs> I think he's gone. He lost. <laughs>
Are you ready? Yes, okay, okay. 
Teacher. Yes. <laughs> um, we have um, the place and what about, uh, how do you say? Describe, describe their location. Right. Uh, for example. Uh, mm -hmm. Like I was giving you the example. Inglés Corporativo is on 91st, 92nd yes. Avenue, mm -hmm. right? So I can say Inglés Corporativo is before uh, Lucero Runabout. Okay. Or Plaza Futura, Torre Futura, sorry, is past Inglés Corporativo. Um, hmm. For well, for my in my case, uh -huh. I have one place. For example, okay, a G, J J M Telcom uh -huh. is past Clavo Canela Restaurant. Yeah, it's past Clavo and Cabe a Clavo Clavo and Canela, Canela Restaurant. Yes, yeah, it's okay. good. Yeah. Okay. English. Right. Okay, uh, um, yes, Osmin? Uh, is in Street El Carmen, no? no. Uh, Inglés Corporativo? Yes, yes. It's in Calle El Mirador. Ah, Calle El Mirador. After yeah, near the, Torre Futura. After the uh, Ranabou Lucero. Near the Ranabou Lucero, Lucero Ranabou. Lucero Ranabou. Uh, uh-huh. Exactly. Teacher. Yes, sir. Can I use another location? Sure. Yeah, you can uh, talk about locations near your work or locations near your house. Sure, no problem. Okay, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more minute, class. One more minute. Okay, so once you finish, choose two of your sentences and put them in the chat. Only two, only two sentences. Okay, I live near the police, that's good. The Agricola Bank is located past the Don Pollo. Okay, past Don Pollo, good. My home is across from First Avenue. Good. Uh -huh. My workplace is between Agencia Claro and Comedor Linda, very good. 
and your work is in Aguilares, Ricardo? Yes, teacher. Okay. I work in Aguilares. My workplace is next to Jugos El Paso. Very good, Marta. Osmin, next to the supermarket. Very good. Which supermarket, Osmin? What? Excuse me. Which supermarket? La Fuente. La Fuente. La Fuente. La Fuente stays the same. La Fuente. Okay. This is okay. the name of. Okay. JM Telcom is Paz Claro. Clavo in Canela Restaurant. Good. Cuellar Bus Stop. Okay. Walmart is near my house along Constitution Boulevard. Good. Okay. Selectus Market is located next to the pharmacy. Good. My home is next to San Rafael Pharmacy. Good. Nice. What is another form to say pharmacy, people? Drugstore. Drugstore. Very good. Drugstore. Any questions? Is correct say I live three blocks from uh, a gym? I live three blocks from uh, uh, a, a gym. Gym. Yes, I live oh. three blocks from a gym. That is correct. Okay, thank you. Yes. Good. Nice. My home is next to San Rafael Pharmacy. Good. All right. Any questions about these uh, exercises? No? Okay. Now, with the sentences that you wrote, uh, I need a volunteer to read these instructions, please. Create a map. Anybody? Create okay. a map. Create a map. Oh, okay, Osmin. Go. No, you. Go ahead. Yes, excuse me. Yeah. Osmin. Go ahead, Rose. Right. You go ahead. Ah, uh, you okay? Thank you. Uh, me? Okay. Create <laughs> <laughs> a map of your place and describe which place are around its shows to a partner and explain. And explain where where it is located using located. Adjective, allocated using adjective preposition of place and there is are there is and there are very good so you can use the the sentences that you wrote as reference o si usted gusta, puede hacer un mapa nuevo que no tenga nada que ver con las oraciones que acaba de escribir. Eh, and, and be ready to use it using adjectives, prepositions of place, plus there is and there are. Are the instructions clear? ¿Están claras las instrucciones? Eh, crear un mapa de work, workplace. workplace. De su lugar de trabajo o puede ser de su casa, como dice Rose. Y okay. va a describir mi trabajo o mi casa y los lugares que están alrededor suyo. Ah, ok. Go ahead. Ok.
How do you say pupuseria in English? <laughs> pupuseria. Pupuseria. Yeah. And then, and then you would have to explain, well, pupuseria is a place where they make uh, 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 pupusas. Y, y pizzeria? Pizzeria. 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 Okay. Only the pronunciation. The pronunciation. Yeah. With pizzeria, it, it sounds like uh, tea, like pit, pizzeria. Okay. Question, teacher. Yes, Osmin. Uh, what say concurrido? Crowded. Crowded, okay, gracias. Ahí te lo pongo en el chat. Bien, gracias. Crowded. Bien, copiado, sí, gracias. Mm -hmm. Crowd. 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 Okay. Teacher, is correct say taxi station? One more time, please. Taxi station. Okay, can you spell it in the in the in the chat, please? Yes. She, she means like uh, junto de taxi. Oh, taxi station. Yes. Yeah, taxi station is good. Uh -huh. Yes, Janet, you can say taxi station. This, this headset, I can hear only here because this part is dead. <laughs> so taxi station, yeah. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Let me know when you're ready. Well, I'm ready to see. Okay. One more minute, people. One more minute.
Okay, we only have a few minutes. Um, this is our last activity. Lo voy a poner a trabajar en pareja para que expliquen su map. See this here. Recreate. Uh -huh. All right, here we go. Explain your maps, explain your maps. Start. I, I remember that. Hello? Yes. Tell me. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Tell me. No. Teacher, we talk about the Lourdes. <laughs> what part of Lourdes? She lived in Lourdes, only Lourdes. 
Yeah, you live near um, downtown Lourdes, right, Janet? Yes. Okay. Is there a reference point where you live? Yeah. The exact station. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I usually put gas in that Texaco gas station. Yes. Yeah, it's in front of Little Caesars. Yeah. Uh, Carretera Sonsonate. Uh, it's, an, it's another site uh, on the freeway to go to the Santana teacher. Yeah, it's the other one. Uh, because I have a sister that live in near to the Metro Centro. Okay, that's Carretera Santana. A uh, Carretera Santana, yes. Now, Janet and I, we live Carretera Sonsonate. Ah, in Lourdes, but in a different direction. Ah, yes. Yes. Uh -huh. The downtown de Lourdes is uh, Carretera Sonsonate. I yeah. talked with her teacher that Lourdes is a bit, uh, he, uh, I'm sorry, Lourdes has a bit factories. Uh, Lourdes is, uh, maybe, uh, I can say the city that is in progress, right, teacher? Yeah, yeah. And the, and the location of Lourdes is strategic because, you know, Santana is near, Sonsonate is near, Santa Tecla is near. So it's, it's not too bad, but it depends where you work also, you know. Okay, yes. When I was, when I was here, uh, I, I see a lot of things like, like the factories. Oh, man, I said there are a lot of factories around here. Uh-huh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. But good. the Lourdes is not a city. How do you say canton, teacher? We can say canton. Canton, canton. Yeah, canton. Yeah. Only canton. Yeah. Yeah, Lourdes is a canton. Really? It's not yeah. a city? No. I think that is a city. <laughs> but I yeah, know. I thought it was a city too. <laughs> the city is Colón. Colón. Right, right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. But you know, Colón looks less developed than Lourdes. Yeah. yeah. Lourdes is in higher teacher. On, uh, uh, Colón is near Los Chorros, El Turicentro Los Chorros. Ah, Los Chorros. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the main session. Okay, teacher. Okay. <coughs> so where are the others? They're coming back in 48 seconds. It's time to go. <laughs> okay, Rose is back. We just need Osman, Vilma, and Marta to be back. Osman and now Marta. All right, they good. Sleeping. Yeah, maybe they fell asleep in front of the computer. <laughs> right. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we're going to stop here. Remember, tomorrow is our last session. It's very important. Uh, very essential that you guys are present because uh, we will finish uh, the book, but also we have space so you guys can figure uh, uh, and answer some questions about the course. So thanks again for your time. Have a good night. Thank okay, you. good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. See, you See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Bye.